this year um, I want to improve on everything. Number one, <clears throat> I wanted my scoring to be better than it was with the judging last year. Uh, this year I had perfect scores in every round. Last year I had uh, perfect scores in just three of the rounds. And in the first round, I only, I only, I, I, I barely got third <laughs> in the first round last year. So I wanted to improve basically on my symmetry. Oh, that was the round that, that uh, I kind of lost out on. So I did that. So that was number one on my list. Number two on my list, I wanted to uh, be harder than I was last year and bigger than I was last year. Uh, I did that also. I did that basically by uh, not having to diet in the middle of the seed contest season and have to take off and not lift, be, be able to lift as heavy. So I was able to uh, basically stay strong the whole, whole year and lift heavy the whole year, which allowed me to put on uh, probably about 10 or 15 more pounds of muscle that 10, 15 more pounds of muscle than I had last year at the show, at the Mr. Olympia last year. And I did achieve that. I wanted to be harder, so what we did there was uh, my cardio. Instead of uh, doing like, I think it was, we were doing like 30 minutes two times a day, about eight weeks out, we went to one hour two times a day about 11 weeks out. So, and I did that all the way until uh, the day, Tuesday, Tuesday the, the uh, week of the contest. So I kept my cardio high and also my carbs were a little bit lower than they were last year. Last year I carved up heavy for like two or three days a week. This year I only carved up uh, heavy for maybe once a, one, one time a week and the rest it was just low carbs. So I was able to, to come in harder in this show by doing that, keeping my carbs kind of like on the, on the low side for like six days out of the week and going uh, heavy on them maybe one day out of the week. My cardio, instead of doing 30 minutes two times a day, I was doing one hour two times a day, 11 weeks out. So that, that's, I think that, that helped me come in just a little bit harder than I was last year. Uh, another thing that I wanted to improve on was my posing because I would, really wasn't satisfied with it. What uh, I heard a couple people say about it last year, saying that uh, you know it could have been a little bit better. So instead of me, you know, you know, I worked hard on my posing last year. Instead of me trying to do it myself, I went out and kind of like recruited somebody to do it for me. In other words, I kind of like hired a choreographer uh, to do it for me. Guy uh, who lives in this area has been competing for a while. His name is Josh Todd. He's an amateur level bodybuilder, but he's an excellent poser. You know, you, know you, you can learn a lot of stuff from people, you know, a lot of people. I mean, just because I'm a professional bodybuilder don't mean I won't listen to what an amateur had to say or or what uh, some of, even some of the fans may have to say, you know, I, I try and improve on in any area that I possibly can, because that's pretty much where you get most of your feedback from the people that's around you. So uh, I was able to, you know, do a little bit better post routine by going out, hiring somebody that, that kind of like a whole lot better at posing than I am. You know, my I, I use my strengths for myself. And my weaknesses, I go out and I recruit people to help me with them. So that's how I was able to kind of come in 
and do a little bit better posing than I did last year. After last year's Olympia, what I did was I was kind of burned out in a way. I had trained so hard and, and I was so stressed out from all the training, all the dieting, you know, because I also did the tour right after the Olympia. My body was just kind of like beat up and tired and exhausted. So what I did last year after the tour, which ended around, I think, the end of October, I took off for like, I mean, I was exhausted. I took off uh, November, uh, December, and January, and then go near weight, then train, then go to the gym. I didn't do uh, cardio. I didn't do anything, you know. And my muscles are here t to stay pretty much, as far as I'm concerned. I've been training for uh, 20 some odd years, almost 25 years now, and I don't think taking off for three months, I'd lose anything. It's just like anything you build. I mean, you can build a car, just because you don't drive it for three months doesn't mean it's gonna, gonna just deteriorate and not function when, when you get ready to use it again. And that's pretty much how I feel about my body, you know. I, I, I built it up to the point where, you know, I'm comfortable with it. Uh, I've been, I'm genetically gifted in a way that, hey, I can take off three months and my, my, my muscles are pretty much not going to go anywhere. They're not going to leave me and they're going to pretty much be the same once I start back training. And that's the way it was. And uh, I, I started back training in February. I think maybe the first week I was a little I was a little sore, but I wasn't sore in the fact that it hurt me to train the next week after that. So I, I think I was sore for maybe about a week and that was it, you know. But I was able to get back where I had left off in probably about two to three weeks. So I was back like full force training real hard in three weeks. After I'd taken off for about three months, I pretty much picked off where I left off last year. And, uh, I, you know, I think that allowed my muscles to uh, kind of like recuperate, uh, regenerate, and uh, basically just just relax <laughs> and to take it easy. And uh, I think it allowed me to also, you know, just put on just a little bit more size because they were so relaxed and so uh, regenerated from that layoff. And that's pretty much probably, that's going to be the same, that's going to be the thing policy that I adopt from now on because in the past, you know, I've always just, as soon as my season was over with, I just take maybe a week off and, and just jump right back in it real hard and, and real fast and not allow my muscles to rest and recuperate and regenerate and all that. So I'm on, I think this is a policy that I'm going to stick with. And I think that I can do this basically basically because, you know, I got real good genetics. I got 25 years of hard training behind me, and I don't think it's going to hurt my body or hurt my muscles, to, you know, just to let them uh, breathe, to let, let them take a rest, you know. just It's just like going on a vacation, except it's a very extended vacation. <laughs> and... Uh, I probably I'm gonna do the same thing this year. Uh, take off November, December, January, and uh, you know just come February, just get ready for the Olympia again. Uh, starting February, probably February the first. You know I'm quite sure the Olympia is gonna be in October, so it's gonna give me a, enough time to train and hopefully get better and maybe a little bit bigger for next year. Uh, so last year I was two. 48 this year I was 258 so about exactly right at 10 pounds heavier than last year <laughs> it really is not really worth it <laughs> the stress that you put on your body to to get in condition it's not worth taking a chance on winning a hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars it's better to let's save your body for the long run <laughs> Enough. <laughs> these are the best two trophies in the world <laughs> The two uh, Sandals, 1998, 1999, Mr. Olympias. So here's all from all those hard 
uh, 25 years of training, this is this is the success that that pays off and, and that can't be beat from it. Right here in front of you. <laughs>